An Upper Michigan pet owner spent over $8,000 in veterinarian bills after feeding her dog a brand of jerky treats. The family says they're concerned because they say the product is still being sold in stores. TV6's Beth Cephalu spoke with the family about their experience. I just don't want another dog to get sick from eating this. I would never buy it again, never, not in my lifetime. They couldn't give me that treat. Gina Marie, a six-year-old Chihuahua mix, was kept in intensive care for six days. There she received three pages worth of medical treatments, totaling over $8,000. The Deloria family say it didn't take veterinarians long to conclude jerky treats were the cause. They pretty much figured it out after day one at Fox Valley, hearing that she had a jerky, and then the, the, the illnesses that resulted from it, the symptoms that came of that. The Delorias contacted Walgreens and the company manufacturing the treats, asking they be removed from the store shelves. But as you can see from this photo, they're still up for purchase. We contacted Walgreens and received this statement. We take product and safety very seriously, and for that reason, we continue to closely monitor regulatory and scientific guidance on this topic, including that of the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. Travelers Insurance, the company insuring Rhode Island Textile Company, the pet shop brand manufacturer, sent a letter to the Delorias in response to their claim. In the letter, the company writes, there has been no link ever found by the FDA or any other outside organization connecting the consumption of our insured's product to sick dogs. You had two dogs eat the same treats and only one became sick. There has been no evidence to show that your dog was made sick by our product. We contacted the manufacturer, Rhode Island Textile Company, but received no comment. As for Gina Marie, she will now live the rest of her life taking multiple medications daily. Please take the made in China jerky treats, chicken treats off your shelves. In Kingsford, Beth Cephalou, TV6 News.